everyone, welcome back to Sounds of Essamorp. Uh, for the second video, we're looking at how I'm using the Montreal Assembly count to five. Okay, so this, again, this is the count to five. And right now it's at the, where I end uh, our song Solace. Uh, change it there at the end to create that slow down effect. But where I start with it is actually here. And it's not that I'm turning now controls the pitch and the direction of the sample that's playing back. A lot of people ask me what this pedal is, and, and the short answer is that it's basically a sampler that records and plays back in real time. It's a little bit like a really short loop pedal, but I don't have to manually activate it. It can do that sort of thing, but I don't really use uh, any looping, um, any manual looping. Uh, with SMR as of yet, but I do use this uh, sampling and playing back in real time. And right now it's set to where it's going to play back backwards, actually, and it's going to do that at double speed and an octave higher than the notes that I'm playing. And without it, what I'm playing sounds like this. With the count to five, it sounds like this. So you kind of hear that, uh, what Promise likes to call uh, 20,000 violin sound, or some other people call it the bird sound. Uh, it's just uh, this nice uh, octave up uh, that's happening. Uh, the, another setting that I use the count to five for is a stutter effect uh, on ghost town, or sometimes between ghost town and the minutes, depending on how we're playing it live. And I'm just going to set that up really fast. So I want it to play back the exact notes and pitch and what I'm going to do is I'm going to flick this switch here and that's going to change it to where it uh, makes sure that it's getting as close as possible to an actual note with the pitch that it's playing back. Uh, the setting I have it on for Solace doesn't go to an actual note and that creates the smoother uh, slow down effect at the end of Solace, but for our other songs, I want it to have a really nice, solid setting so it doesn't out, sound out of tune. So that's what that switch helps me do. And right now, it's just going to play back the normal note. So it's almost like a delay at this uh, type of setting. But now I'm going to reduce the buffer length to be really short. So the buffer link just determines how much it records at one time before it starts to play back. And I'm going to set the feedback to zero so it doesn't go after I stop it. And I'm going to increase the wet signal to fully wet. And so now I can create a really cool stutter effect by holding this switch. So that one's really fast where I can create one that's a little bit slower. And this is uh, more of, that setting is more of what I use uh, when we're uh, doing Ghost Town in the Minutes live. And the last setting that I use with a count to five is this really nice uh, sort of reverse delay. I think it's a little bit different than reverse delay because I've used other reverse delays and I actually like the way this sounds better. It's a really, really nice reverse delay sound. It's very musical. And that sounds like this. And then I use that with my timeline live um, on the apostasy setting. And I'll use that for the end of our ambient intro to apostasy. Uh, 
Thanks for watching our second Sounds of Essenmorp video, and this has been a look at the Montreal Assembly Count to Five. Thank you.